What's up, YouTube? So today's segment, one of today's segments on First Take, they're going to be talking about Zion Williamson and whether or not is he going to be a number one pick? Is he is he worthy enough to be a top pick? Me personally, I say definitely yes, he's going to be a number one pick. I mean, the man, what is he like, six 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 seven, about maybe 240, 250? And it, the man can run the court all day. He runs like a deer. He's got handles. He needs to work on his uh, his perimeter shot, but that's nothing because he's just a freshman. He'll take care of that. You know, all he does, mostly all he does is, is work in the paint. So uh, I, I can't see why he wouldn't be number one pick other than maybe the team. The team might not need him at the position. But other than that, I mean, the guy is just out of control. And most of all, most of all, I heard he's got like a 45 to 46 invert. Now, that is out of control. Weighing 240, 250, 667, jumping out of the gym. Oh, man. Let's see what these guys have to say. Is Zion a slam dunk to be the number one pick in this year's draft? No, he is not. He is not. Not according to the people that I've spoken to. They think that, uh, you know, his efforts are birth Herculean, uh, that he's incredibly impressive. You can't teach the vertical leap, which is at about 46 to 47 inches. You can't teach 280 pounds. Uh, you've heard the comparisons to the Charles Barkley's of the world, along with various others. You get all of that. But you've got, I've got some people, I run across some people in the NBA circles and in college basketball circles uh, that have a question about his perimeter shot and have questions about how great his upside could be. Uh, so his perimeter shot, definitely he can, he can work on that. He's only a freshman, so he can definitely work on that. And as far as his upside, oh God, his upside, he's balling right now as a freshman. Just how, wait, how, how is going to be in two or three years? Four years, five years. The experience with that, oh, God, it's going to be out of control. Potentially. They like R.J. Barrett a lot. They think that he is the real deal. They clearly believe that Zion Williamson would be a top three pick, but they also think it depends on the team who picks him. If you're the New York Knicks, for example, you not only need him because of his skill set, you need box office a box office attraction if you're a few other teams you might not need that you might be an all-around versatile player who's perceived as having a better perimeter game um like an rj barrett so it's one of those things in this kid um out of oregon manute bowl son uh bowl bowl i believe his name so bowl bowl is gonna be a beast out of oregon his dad was manute bowl his dad was like i don't know seven two seven three and Bobo's about 7'2", 7'3", right now. And what is he, only, what, 19? So he can still grow. And that man is putting in work. He definitely got handles and definitely can move great for a guy that's 7'7". Seven, seven the only downside I see on him is he might be a little bit too skinny. So when he gets to the league, guys like Boogie might get in there and push him around. But he's still young. He's only probably 19. So he'll grow into his body. They'll, they'll put some weight on him, you know, beef him up a little bit. But, yeah, Bobo, he's going to be a beast too. I mean, they, they, he's injured, so he hasn't been playing. Uh, but a lot of people like him as well. So they look at Zion Williamson. They say he's easily top five, probably top three. But in terms of the debate as to whether or not he's number one overall, they think it depends on the market that he's going to and how much they need a basketball player to like I said before, it doesn't matter what you need, the positions or whatever. You got to pick up Zion. You no, know, I think it probably says it's it's what the team might need in position. Nah, I think I'm going to change it. No matter what, you take Zion. You take him at the number one spot. And if you need to trade all your draft picks for the next 20 years to get that man, you do it compared to how much they need a box office attraction. He's clearly number one box office. He's clearly top three overall. But they look at a guy like R.J. Barrett, and some people that I've spoken to believe there's a chance he could get taken ahead of Zion Williamson. No chance. Zion Williamson's going one overall. He's a generational talent. You just said it, Stephen A. He is box office. This isn't only a slam dunk. 
This is an ab above the rim, above the back. I take a 360 one. degree slam dunk. This is a Zion Williamson slam dunk. Like, what are you hoping from Zion Williamson? That he's better than Blake Griffin or someone like that? I hope he's at least better than Blake Griffin. You know, you, Julius Randle, but with way more athletic ability, right? That's the, that's the kind of downside of Zion Williamson. What's the downside of R.J. Barrett? Andrew Wiggins or someone like that? There is no chance Zion Williamson doesn't go number one. He's bigger, bigger, stronger, much more athletic. Uh, by the way, even his field goal percentage, I realize that's because of his size and he scores in the paint and everything. Nevertheless, he, Zion Williamson could miss, miss his next 125 shots and have a better field goal percentage than R.J. Barrett right now. Like, think about that for a second. 68% to like 45%. Yeah, a lot of that's in the paint, I guess. Yeah, and that's another stat I didn't know about. Thank you, Max. That 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 just makes it even worse for somebody to not pick up Zion Williamson. That's out of control. But for a big guy who scores in the paint and a, a freshman, dunks, he shoots it pretty good, doesn't he? I mean, considering. Do you believe there's room for improvement there? Of course, but is there reason to believe he can improve? He's a freshman doing this stuff. Stephen A., when a guy comes along with this kind of athletic ability... Not to mention the numbers he's putting up. You will not be the team that misses picking. Could you imagine if Zion Williamson uh, uh, fulfills the potential and winds up like a better version of Charles Barkley or someone, and you're sitting around as the GM who passed up on him? Ain't going to happen. He's going first. Listen, I, I will tell you this. I'm a real fan of Barrett. Now, I would take Zion Williamson number one. There's no question about it for all the like names, or all the reasons that you articulated. Because I feel that I would take Zion Williamson number one. That's how much I feel about him. But I do understand from a basketball perspective, particularly the way today's game is called. You can be energetic. You can be athletic. and But in the same breath, you can be so fiery that it's hard to reel you in. And even though it's, it's no comparison, please don't get me wrong, I'm not comparing the players. Let me give you an example. Do you remember, Max, Back in the day when Chocolate Thunder, Daryl Dawkins, God rest his soul. Well, I mean, you know, he was he was breaking backboards and going crazy. And he was just a yes, man sir. amongst boys in terms of his physical prowess. You know, the Boston Celtics never concerned themselves with it. You know why? Because they always knew he'd be in foul trouble almost instantly because he didn't know how to quite reel it in. The physicality that he had and that advantage that it gave him also neutralized his effectiveness because he would rely on that so much. We look at a Zion Williamson. I see the ball handling skills. I see his moves in the paint. I see his elevation. I see all of these things. And I'm like, this dude is a physical freak of nature. He is something special. But let's not forget the fact that R.J. Barrett is a monster in and of his own right. And on a collegiate level, his first year, he's a freshman. You consider the perimeter play that exists in today's NBA and how the NBA sort of veers away from physicality. You, you can find yourself in a lot of trouble because they call the game at times so softly. All I'm saying is I'm looking, I'm listening to college coaches and NBA scouts say to me, Zion Williamson is all those things and some, plus he's box office, but we believe that R.J. Barrett can be that kind of dude as well, Steven, you know and the we team, can't dismiss you it. Know That's the what team, they're saying. The I'm team, taking Zion number one. 